Hey guys, this is Chris. Um, I wanted to do an update before tomorrow's appointment. Um, I have my third gender clinic appointment tomorrow at 12pm. By the way, today is 13th of December 2011 and it is now 25 to 4 in the afternoon. Um, yeah, tomorrow I've got my third gender clinic appointment. Um, the appointment tomorrow, I believe, I will be put on the pathway of care, um, which means it's another basically another step forward to hormones. Um, sorry if I look like a scruff. I've just been to the gym, got a shower, so I'm just trying to chill out for a bit now. Um, yeah, so tomorrow I'll be hopefully put on the pathway of care, um, and then I will hopefully receive one more appointment after tomorrow um which will the appointment will entail when i um take in all my all my documents i depot change of name by depot i'll be taking all my evidence in to show that i've changed my name officially um and everything like that um because usually after this initial assessment you're supposed to have three to six months um, of the real life test um, which is where you change your name by people you, you do everything like that you act in the preferred gender at work and home and and everything like that well I've already been doing that since February which is now what, 10 months ago um, so I won't need to do that I've just literally got one appointment because um, the way that Leeds Gender Clinic work is you have one appointment per month so you would have three to six appointments which would you know be the same as three to six months of the real life test but luckily because I've done all that um, I'll just get one appointment where I take all my evidence in um, my depot and everything like that and then I will be referred to the doctor at Leeds Gender Clinic um, for my hormones which apparently it's a three months waiting list which you know waiting time which if I'm honest I'm not really happy about it's three months you know it's but then looking at it it's not too bad it's three months it's not six months a year um so hopefully by April I will be on hormones but I'm looking forward to tomorrow these appointments are really coming around quick aren't they um I didn't expect it would come around so quick but they are doing this, which is fantastic um, I know that I haven't updated in a while, been feeling proper shit, but touch wood, I've been getting um, myself back on track now. Um, so yeah, I just wanted to do an update. Um, so yeah, I can't wait for tomorrow, looking forward to it, really am looking forward to it. Um, and... The further I get along the line, you know, in the, the process, the more excited I, I am becoming. And I think it will be fantastic when I do start hormones. Because um, I know in probably most of my videos, a lot of what I've been going on about is hormones, but it is such a big step. You know, it's it will change me. Not just physically, but mentally. And I think I'm actually starting to get a bit apprehensive and a bit scared about how my body's going to react to testosterone. I mean, I don't know what's going to happen. You know, I don't know if I'm going to get mood swings. I mean, I know there are possible side effects, which I have read up upon. You know, but I don't know if I'm going to get, you, you know, um, mood swings or if my appetite's going to increase or anything like that, if I'm going to be snappy. Because the last things, of course, I want is to be snappy and to be moody. That's the last thing. Um, but I suppose we'll just wait and see. I've got a few more months to look into it. Saying that, I've looked into it a lot. So <laughs> just um, wait and see how it goes, really. Um, but yeah, I cannot wait. I really cannot wait. So just wait and see what happens. Um, guys want to ask me any questions, same as always. If you got me on Facebook, Facebook me, you know, YouTube, ask any questions. I'm not, I'm, I am quite open about it, so 
Um, I will most likely be making another video tomorrow um, saying how my appointment went. So, um, And I'll see you guys for now.